Hello? Donna, it's Misty. Yes, Misty. I'm sorry if it took me a while to get to the phone, love. It's okay. Um, Donna, there's something I... It's just that you caught me in a bit of a fluster. I'm prepping dinner for this evening, and let me just tell you, you and Rock are in for a real treat. That's why I called Donna. We're starting with Oysters Rockefeller. I know it's a little on the decadent side, but I figure I really want you to try out this fabulous recipe I came across in Good Housekeeping. And how often do we get to supper together? Not often. Right? Not often enough. I hate that. Need to make the most. So Oysters Rockefeller was a must. And guess what else? Donna, can you please just... London broil. It's Rock's favorite, isn't it? Isn't it? He did love a good steak. Nice and bloody, I remember. Just the temperature Gary takes his. So nice and bloody it shall be. Must please the boy. Do we, though? Oh, oh, with a side of gratin as well. Does that sound good? It sounds delicious, Donna. It really does. Good. No. Not good. Not good. Misty, this is bad. Not good. Why? Why? Well, I gotta cancel his why. Cancel? I gotta. Misty! Oysters Rockefeller. Do I have to say that again? Oh, I don't know. Oysters Rockefeller! You feel better? I do not. Do you know how much London broil costs these days? No, but I believe that it's... It's a premium cut of meat. I know it's a premium cut of meat. Then why would you up and cancel on a premium cut of meat? It's rock. What of him? You said he likes steak, no? Well, the guts of this whole thing, Donna, is that rock's been a bit of a problem lately. Okay. And? Well, problems left to be problems can turn unmanageable. So if I got a problem and I got a solution being offered to me, then I figure why not solve said problem before it becomes... Unmanageable? Exactly. So for the sake of being clear, problem? Rock was getting a bit free with his fists. Solution? Rock was getting a bit free with his fists. Misty, you're not saying. <laughs> Gone the way of the steak. Missed. Nice and bloody. Oh my. Oh my, so he's... Not a problem anymore. I will neither condone or condemn this. I want you to know that. I'm just as curious as can be. How did you... The makeup lady. Come again. Come to find out, she is rather a resourceful gal. What does the makeup lady have to do with your husband being nice and bloody? Well, there are some things you just can't hide from the lady that sells your rouge. Like your problem. Like my problem. So? So she sold me the solution. <laughs> my interest is certainly piqued as to what the solution might be. The solution, quite literally speaking, was a tincture. A tincture? Miss Makeup Lady has been peddling this stuff on the hush for years. For situations such as mine, she said would be empowerment in a bottle. You know, some of these sad widowed housewives you see around the neighborhood? Well, they ain't so sad. They're her customers, and they're free. Empowerment in a bottle? Like Chanel? What the hell with Chanel? My scent is self-satisfaction. This was better. The goods, Donna. I wasn't looking to give the hound a trail to track. I was looking to take it out back and end it. And that makeup lady, she said this bottle was key. And she was a damn good sell, so I said I'd take it. I do admire a woman who excels at her job. Mm -hmm, you're telling me. Along with many adorable shades of lipstick, she had along with her for the discerning customer various tinctures to solve various problems. And the tincture you picked? Two drops in his eggs and Mr. Free Fist would spit up his heart by three. Completely without warning and completely untraceable. Where are you? In between 9th Avenue and my 4th Gimlet. I've been pondering Paris. I'm coming there now. Oh, what about your London broil? I'm more worried about the lamb as in the one you and I are going out on right away. Misty, you're a criminal now. We have to flee. No one's going out on a lamb. What we got here is the perfect crime and a fat insurance policy. Like I said, untraceable. Says the makeup lady. Says the makeup lady. You know what they say, there's no such thing as a perfect crime. <sighs> Maybe you're right. Maybe what we got here is perfect justice. Oh, I like that. I'll take you to dinner. We'll get you those oysters Rockefeller and something strong to wash all this down. It would be nice to leave the serving to somebody else. <laughs> you're telling me. I'll put the London broil on for Gary and be over in 20. Good. We'll talk Paris. I'm thinking I'll get me a jazz man. I hear they're all moving there. <laughs> they sure are. Nothing like a jazz man to scratch that itch. We'll get you one too. You want one? I do like jazz. How about a singer? We'll get you a nice, sensitive crooner. 
A drummer. <laughs> Not a girl. I know, but that rhythm. To think of the things they could do in the... Donna. Donna. Terrible news, dear. Hold, please. It's Rock. He's dead. Oh, no. Oh, no. Poor Misty must be beside herself. I'll have to rush out and see if she's okay. See you at 20. Who's that on the phone? Oh, just the makeup lady. She'll be stopping by next week. Men on your cases, not to worry, just in a hurry. She comes a striding, mellow and gliding, lady, make up, baby, wake up. Hey, makeup lady, coming to the heart.